Hey, happy Sunday. I am sitting in the drive-thru at Wendy's. I've been here long enough to get set up. Oh shit, we're moving. I don't believe it. Nope, false alarm. I don't even want anything. I'm here because my younger son has discovered that he loves their spicy chicken nuggets. To me, they just taste like clumps of chemicals with spicy shit on them. I don't think they're very good at all, but he likes them. So he asked me, will I please come get him some nuggets? No sauce. He just eats them like they are. What the heck? I just finished a video. I did a library video. Um, I have those new books that I bought at the, the library down in Randleman. Randleman? Yeah. And I had to put little cards in them, you know. And I thought, well, hell, you can make a video of doing that. So, I did. It was almost an hour long. I, I didn't know how long it would be. I had no idea how long it would end up being. People get up there and they just get confused. It's like people at the ATM, they're just going, uh. You know, I still say it would be helpful if they would put a menu back here that you could look at while you're waiting. The only menu you have is when you get up there to the little speaker. If they had one back here that we could look at, I understand it might make it look a little bit more cluttered out here, but hell, when you got up there, at least you have some idea of what you were going to order. Sorry, my dad's calling me. I got to call him back in a minute. I'm, I, I told him I needed bicycle tires for my son's bike, and the bike shop said they can't get street tires that size for some reason. They're just out of stock, and my dad just. I don't know, he's like latched on to it, like it's become his mission now to find tires for this bike, and I was supposed to call him back yesterday, and I forgot. I just saw he was calling me. I'll, I'll call him back in a minute. I'm really tempted to order something for myself, a junior bacon cheeseburger or something, but I'm not going to. Um, I've been snacking a lot lately. I need, to get, I need to get back on track. I need to start eating a little bit better. My son's birthday is tomorrow. I'm, I'm treating him to nuggets tonight, and... <laughs> I bought him, we went and got Krispy Kreme donuts last night, and his brother ended up eating at least half of them. Oh, there's a little puppy dog in the car. He's so cute. Look at this puppy. Look. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> no, not like, not like that. It's a puppy. It's a cute little puppy. Look at that little puppy. <laughs> They're cute. I dropped you on the floor. <laughs> Puppy. The lady in the van said the dog's name is Duncan. He's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. He's very fluffy. Yeah, I have, um, I've got the, the pressure washer guy supposed to come tomorrow. And I'm going to get my driveway done and the pad in the back and my little walkway in front of the house. $150 to do all of it. That's a hell of a deal. Now, I know there are pressure washers that will do it cheaper, but nobody does, as, I'm telling you, nobody does as good a job as this guy. He's been in business for 22 years. He's like a one-man band. He he works by himself. He take, you know, he'll come do the estimate. He, you know, he's the one that does all the work. He doesn't have any employees. It's just him. And he does a great job. I, I if you live in the area and you need a pressure washer, let out let me know. I'll I'll give you his information. He's fantastic. He does such a good job. Um, and he's very knowledgeable when it comes to different surfaces because different surfaces have to be cleaned differently, you know, and you have to know what to, what you're doing. And he's just, he's so good at it. That's one of the few projects I've done in my house. It was like, you know, I contact the people, hey, I need a thing done, and they just come and do it, and no problem. Nothing else goes that way. All right, fortunately, I know what I want. There are 50,000 things on this menu. Like, how do you pick? You get up here and it's overwhelming. It's like, eh. They have Baconator fries. That sounds like something straight out of Idiocracy. Baconator. Son of bake. They have son of Baconator, Baconator. Baconator fries with extra molecules. Big bacon cheddar. Bourbon bacon. My God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to develop high cholesterol just reading this menu. <sighs> Lord have mercy, you get the apple pecan salad. It has 970 calories in it. 
<laughs> Damn. The taco salad has 1,190 calories. Jesus. All right. Well, anyway, they've got hot honey. Bow, chicka, bow, bow, hot honey. They have that at Biscuitville, too. I don't know what the hell it is. I guess spicy honey. Why would you want that? That sounds nasty. They've got Biggie Deals, Crispy Chicken BLT, Crispy Chicken Regular. The Junior Bacon Cheeseburger is actually really good. I got my hopes up. I thought somebody was coming to the thing. What kind of drinks do we have? Craft Lemonade, Sunburst Melon, All Natural, Strawberry, Pineapple Mango, Good God Almighty. 470 calories in that sunburst melon. The others have 420. Good Lord. I don't, I, I don't know. No, I, I, I almost never order anything for myself. I get stuff for my kids, but it's expensive. You know, I, I, I'll eat something at the house. Usually I tell my kids to eat something at the house. My older son's at work, so I don't have to feed him right now. He can get his own food. I tell him all the time, you got a car and you got you got money in a car. You want something, go get it. Otherwise, we got food here. We You can eat. We got plenty of food right here. I don't want what we got here. I don't want what we have. I'll be honest, sometimes I don't either. How's your weekend going? Mine's going fine. I'm happy. I'm glad I'm, I've got the pressure washer guy coming in the morning. I got a I got an exercise class first thing, and then the guy's gonna come out right after that. At some point, I got to get some work done. Um, as of tomorrow, I will have two teenagers. That's crazy. Oh man, they grow up so fast. Let me let me tell you something, y'all. Any of y'all with little kids, if you're going through the terrible twos or they won't sleep through the night or anything, blink. And they will be teenagers. I swanny. You will not believe how fast they grow up. It is insane. It is insane how fast they grow up. Enjoy these moments because one of these days they're going to be out on their own and they won't need you anymore. Which is the way it's supposed to be. You're, you know, you're raising adults. They shouldn't need you forever. They're not supposed to. At some point, you gotta you gotta let them fly the nest. You gotta let them go live their own life, you know. And a lot of parents just can't let go. I'm at the speaker. I I know what I want. They have seasoned potatoes at breakfast time. Add some seasoned potatoes for breakfast. You can upgrade your combo. Upgrade just like idiocracy. For $1.20, you can get large fries and a large drink. Or for $0.90, cents, you can get medium fries and a drink. I thought you got that anyway. Hell, what do you get? I don't know. I guess you just get a small Baconator. A Baconator. That's a sandwich with, like, a whole bunch of bacon on it. Man. Big Bacon Classic has 1150 calories for the whole meal that is applewood smoked bacon with american cheese and then you get fries with that i find that the fries here are kind of hit and miss at the wendy's sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're soggy um the big bacon cheddar is 1320 calories for the whole meal including the fries and the uh the entree they call it the entree Big bacon cheddar. It has bacon jam. What the hell? Bacon jam, creamy cheddar cheese, applewood smoked bacon, American cheese, crispy onions, and toasted cheddar bun. My God. Mm. Bourbon bacon. <laughs> applewood smoked bacon, bourbon bacon sauce. Shut up. Crispy onions and American cheese. That meal is 1,210 calories for the whole meal, including the fries. I believe somebody died in there. I'm still waiting to order. He wants the 10-piece 
spicy nuggets. I believe that's right. Ten, was it a 10 piece? I don't see that as an option. I see four piece and six piece. You can get chili. If I recall, their chili used to be pretty good. I don't know. I haven't had it in years. And of course, you have the frosty that you dip your fries in and you eat the fry. You know, you dip it in the, the frosty. That's good. <sighs> it's given me a total of $13.75. Sweetie, I didn't order anything. Hey. I'm not sure what's going on with this thing, but we uh, can't even hear you guys out here. Oh my so gosh. If we, pull around, we can take your order. Okay. Thank Sorry you. That, that. That's okay. Thank you. The speaker's busted. Okay, pull around. Do I come here? I don't know. We've got a window here and a window. I'm going to this window, and if they tell me this isn't correct, I don't know what to do. Hello. Um, I just wanted a 10-piece spicy nuggets. And that was it. It's working now. I don't know why I'm on the beacon. That is weird. That's a nice Jaguar. There's a Jaguar over here. It's an F-type. It's beautiful. It's like a dark Foster green. Nuggets? Oh, I don't need any. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. Thank you. It's been such a nice day. The weather is beautiful today. I tell you what, it's, it's just gorgeous weather. I'm loving it. It's going to be pretty for the next few days. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. It's not supposed to get as hot either, which is really good. And it's not humid right now. It's not sticky outside at all. You can just get out. Would you like regular nuggets or would you rather wait for the spicy nuggets? I can just wait for the spicy ones. Okay, so sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. That means it'll be fresh. That's even better. I have a I have a present for my son. He he got eager and he wanted his birthday presents early. So I broke down and I, I gave him one present early, but um I have another present that he doesn't know about. I ordered him a little spider habitat and it just came today. It was uh, I ordered it on Amazon. It's just a it's basically it's just a little a little box. It's like a little plexiglass box I guess it's a spider habitat he wants a pet spider and we've talked about it for a while and I said well the first thing we need to do is get something to put the spider in you don't want to get a spider if you don't have anywhere to put it he said we could just keep it in a in a container until we get something I said or we could just go ahead and get a habitat set up get everything in it, get it the way you want it, and then get a spider to put it in. Put in it. He just wants to catch like a, one of the wolf spiders or something in the backyard. I said, fine, we'll do that. Thing is, he said, I'm, I've never I've never let a spider crawl on my hand. I'm scared. I said, let's work your way up to it. Let's start with a small spider and let it walk on your hand. And, and he said, he has the same fear I do. I'm always afraid it's going to go shoo and like run up and get in my mouth or my ear. I don't know. I just have this fear of it getting near my face for some reason. Blech. No. So I said, we'll start with small spiders. We'll go out in the yard and find small spiders and let it crawl on your hand or an ant or whatever and let it walk on you and then work our way up to a bigger spider, you know. I don't care. Things like that don't bother me. Um, bugs and, you know, frogs and snakes. I'm not bothered by that at all. Hell, I used to grow up catching, I grew up catching that stuff. It doesn't bother me a bit in the world. So I looked around on Amazon and I bought this little spider habitat. I ordered it two days ago and it just came today. I was really hoping it would get here before his birthday. So, and it did, it came today. So I'm going to have that as a surprise gift for him tomorrow. He thinks he's opened everything, but he doesn't know about that, so yeah, got him a spider habitat. <sighs> so, and he wants to go to the trampoline park. I don't know when we're gonna go there. He wanted to have some friends over, but this past weekend didn't work out because they both had somewhere else they had to be, so they couldn't make it. 
maybe next weekend. I don't know. I said we could reschedule it and do it some other time if that works better. I don't know. That's a really pretty car. I'd show it to you, but I'm afraid I'd drop you again. <laughs> Just look up F-Series Jaguar. That is a slick looking little... I'll try it. I'll try it. Hold on. Look at it. That's cool as hell. That's a good looking car. I saw it sitting there and I wondered if it's like the franchise owner or somebody, like the franchise owner's car. Stopping by to pay him a visit. I'm just put it in this joker room park. Waiting for him to bring out my nuggets. I don't even want anything. I didn't even order anything. I'm sitting here like a doofus waiting for my nuggets. <sighs> Sometimes being a parent is the it, it's the thankless job. Now, he always says thank you whenever I bring him something. He's he's very polite. I tried to teach my children manners. You know, say please and thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Use your manners. They don't. It doesn't cost anything to have some basic manners. It's a dying art in today's world. Nobody, nobody teaches their kids manners. They don't teach them table manners either. Children eat like wild animals. There goes a Porsche. I was thinking about it today. We are, troll season is in full swing. If you've ever heard me talk about it. Whenever school gets out, I see a rash of comments from obviously like young children. And they all say the same things. You know, you're old. You're so old. Why are you making videos? You're so old. You're so, you're so old. Why is this old lady making videos? They mainly just call me old. Who told this old lady that she needs to make videos? She, this old lady sucks. She looks like my grandma. That look like your grandma? No, it, it, it you know, they'll, they mostly they just say I'm old. Like they've really uttered this groundbreaking phrase and <gasps> troll season. I just block them. Trolls, trolls, trolls. And I was thinking about, uh, Somebody said to me the other day, I know, I know this girl. She's a real cut up. I said, you need to make. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. You too. She was saying, I know this girl and she's a cut up. She need, I told her she needs to make YouTube videos like you do. I think she'd do fine. I think she'd be really good because she's a cut up. She's a smart aleck. She's always talking funny. Talking funny how? What do you, like, how? She's just a cut up. She's just funny. I said, well, I'm not here to discourage anybody. You know, first of all, does she want to make videos? Well, no, I just said she should because you do it and she could do what you do. I said, well, no offense. And I don't know this person and maybe you're right, but there's a whole lot more to it than just being a cut up. I mean, shit. First of all, like during troll season, Honey, you got to be able to take all kinds of insults. And these people don't pull punches either. They will insult literally everything about you. They will say things that will hurt your feelings. Most of them don't. Most of the things people say don't hurt my feelings. But if you're already having a bad day, yes, it will hurt your feelings. It absolutely will hurt your feelings. Like it or not, you are human. You have feelings. They're going to hurt your feelings sometimes. Um... Because there, there is no limit to what they will say about you. They could say anything about you. Um, and, it, you know, they just keep coming. You'll get these insults pretty much every day. And the more, you know, the bigger your channel gets, the more insults you get. It's just the nature of the beast. That's just the way it goes. Um, you have to be willing to work hard as well. It's not just a matter of just cutting up. You have to be able to produce new material on a regular basis. You have to upload consistently. Now, I, I upload every day. I would recommend if you want to have a channel that you upload at least three new videos every week. That's just me. People need people want to see a consistent schedule. They want you to upload consistently. You have to be able to take insults and try not to take them personally. If somebody insults you, 
block them, delete the comment, do not respond to it, don't say shit to them. You can pin their comment if you want to. Sometimes if I'm in if I'm in a mood, I'll just pin their comment and just leave it at that. Most of the time when I pin it, the, the person who left it will delete the comment after a day or so. Because <laughs> they get tired of everybody responding to them. You gotta work hard. You have to be able to come up with new material all the time, new ideas, new stuff. You've got to figure out what your audience wants and give them to that consistently. I'd say a minimum of three times a week, every week. People, if you don't upload consistently, people get bored with you and they move on. Can you do that? I don't think most people can. I'm not saying that I'm the shit or anything, but I'm saying the average person either cannot do that or does not want to do that because it is a lot of work. It's a hell of a, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of planning. You know, and sometimes you put a lot of work into a video and it just falls flat. Like nobody really likes it. You just don't know. You cannot, if you get discouraged, you got to pick yourself up and keep going. You know, you, and you have to motivate yourself. You may not have anybody there to motivate you. You got to do it for yourself. You got to have a pretty thick skin. I, I honestly, I think the trolls are, that's one of the hardest part. And the nitpicky people, they're just as bad. The ones that have to find fault with everything you do. Shit, they're just as bad as the trolls. You know, but everybody gets them. It doesn't matter. You could have the perfect channel. Every video could be perfect. Everything could be perfect. You'll still have people that will say that, you know, I don't like your face. You're ugly and stupid or something. You know, they're going to they're gonna call you everything you could ever imagine and stuff you never imagine. They will insult everything about you over and over and over the entire time you do it. I have been called everything. Everything about me has been insulted um, you know, but they, think about, it. I mean, just try to keep in mind, these people don't know you. They're complete strangers. Their opinion doesn't matter. Just, these are people, and a lot of them are just kids, bored kids with nothing better to do, frankly. And I see a huge spike in that this time of year, around the end of May, 1st of June. Oh yeah, the kids are at home, they're already bored, so they're finding random videos, and they just they just leave these stupid comments because they have nothing better to do. I told my, both of my kids, if I ever catch you doing that to somebody, I will be taking your ass off of there. You will not be looking at anything on the internet. So, if you want to be, you know, a YouTuber or whatever, you got to have thick skin and you got to have a lot of good ideas and you got to be willing to work hard. And you may never become big. You may never you may never be anything hell. I mean, I didn't plan to I never planned to have an audience at all. I was doing it cuz I enjoyed it, and that's the reason I keep doing it. I do I do it because I enjoy it. I am tickled to death that so many other people enjoy it as well, but if the day ever comes that I don't enjoy it, I'll stop or I'll cut way back or something. You know, I don't have to do it. I do it because I want to. Okay, I'm going to get his nuggets home, and uh, hopefully he will be happy with them, and and I'm going to get back to whatever the hell I was doing. What was I doing? I got some laundry I got to fold. I guess I'll do that. So anyway, happy Sunday to you. Back at it in the morning. It's Monday. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.